Here we have a 2012 on a 61 registration Volvo B13R 9700 Prestige Plus 53 stroke 55 seat executive coach. Vehicle is currently owned and operated by Bretherton's Gold Line Tours up in the Forest of Borland. Very small, well known family company with extremely high standards. Hence why we don't have any issues selling vehicles for them. This one was bought sort of as a extra vehicle just to get through the busy June, July period. And now it's a debate whether we keep it or whether we move it on and get something Euro 6. Love the 9700s here, to be honest. I know they're a bit marmite to a lot of people, but you won't hear... John Paul or his dad have anything bad to said about him. Power operated centre continental doors fitted, as are alloy wheels. The only bit of damage is that you've got a Euro 5 13 litre Volvo engine that is driven through Volvo's 12 speed automated I shift gearbox. Reverse cameras also fitted. Down the near side, again, no issues. This vehicle hasn't long been tested. It's tested till August next year. Um, it's had a brand new intercooler radiator just fitted. It's literally ready to work. You don't even have to take any vinyls off. Parallel opening lockers with massive luggage space. No issues at all with the luggage. And as we jump on board, currently 53 reclining seats with three point seat belts, half leather trim. I would say at some point this vehicle's had a retrim. I've not had it confirmed, but I'm just looking at the material, the way the stick, the piping and the headrest, the shape of them, not normally the same as you'd find in a 9700 that hasn't been done. Side, sideways movements fitted to the seats. We have doors to the hat racks. Seats in very, very good condition. Thing I like about 9700s, this is the winner for me. I'm on the back seat. And I can, see, I've got, I can still see out the windscreen because they're built with what's always been termed as theatre style seating, i.e. they ramp up towards the back so literally everybody can see over the person's head in front of them in theory. Unless you're five foot four like me and the guy in front six foot six. Trace to the seat backs, another feature of 9700s. They always tend to have full draw curtains and blinds. Suppose the blinds, if you look at them, you can still see out the window, but you can keep the glare off. Centre sunken toilet fitted with, behind that little corrugated sheet there is a hot drinks facility. I couldn't find the key to open it, so can't really show you much about it. We're wired for DVD with two power operated drop down monitors. Carpet to the aisle, this is a very, very clean coach. I see this as owner driver material and that's because for some reason 9700s seem a bit marmite people either love them or hate them and obviously tri axles more so than two axles that being said i think as a touring vehicle there isn't much better certainly in that sort of age group and i think the good thing about this product is it's a one-stop shop it's all completely Volvo. You can't, even though I have had the argument with a Volvo dealer that it was a body part, so nothing to do with them, which I put him straight on, obviously. Every Nobody can be blaming each other, chassis part, body part. It's all Volvo. So as long as you've got a good Volvo main dealer, then it should give you very little problem. Less than half a million kilometres, so it's not kill with mileage. 
dash is all in very very good order no issues there prior to Bretherton's having it it was an owner driver over in uh, on the foul coast so it has been looked after there's a fridge in the dashboard there courier seat but I think you'd have to go a very long way to find fault with this vehicle in fact the only thing I can find and I'm very very surprised is that it's got odd mirrors so lacking a bit of attention to detail there by the current owner I'd say he's nodding at the side so to recap we've got a 2012 on a 61 registration Volvo B13R 9700 Prestige Plus 53 stroke 55 seat executive coach